Morning guys and girls, um, yes it's the 10th of June Friday and everybody getting ready for the weekend and uh, we're hoping this weekend will uh, start off with a bang for, for most of the guys interested in the sardine run and wanting to come down from Durban or North Coast or Joburg or wherever that there would have been better news this morning so people can plan but the water's still very very dirty we're still sitting with that problem there's definitely bait fish pockets everywhere and it could be a lot of them could be swords but nothing can be confirmed some of the pockets has been confirmed by some of the boaters that go out to them others has been uh, red eye mackerel moss bunker all different but a lot of activity um, ladies and gents for the last three days there's really been a big change when it comes to the fish we're seeing game fish and it looks like a lot of years yeah, reports of yellowtail and I'm talking from Tualumi down to Port, Port uh, Edward there's several bait shoals the main activity has been Port Shepston to Hibberdeen that section where there's uh, quite a few shoals and the shad started coming out especially yesterday morning everywhere in big shad we're talking shad of over 40 centimeters and continues till late in the morning proper proper sessions um, some of them almost all day the shad were coming out at Scottborough uh, Sandwich Port uh, Banana Beach the block at Port Shepston uh, I know Splash Rock I saw there were some Gary Cobb Gilbeck uh, morning is still there were several several fish caught um, the boaters say the yellowtail they see them smashing some of the bait shoals which is close in shore and pushing them in this morning again there were shoals pushed in at sandwich port by yellowtail in the dirty water um, and it looks like the, the yellowtail is smacking the shad or something because then just after that the guys will start getting shad so really good shad fishing reports i can give you guys on the sardine side not really anything to report yet no netting has happened and uh, the fish aren't aren't ready to be netted let's put it that way uh the water water is still a bit dirty so we're hoping that uh, that will change this weekend it's always great when it happens on the weekend and that's normally then a great event because more people being able to reach the spot but we'll keep you up to date make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button to receive an update each time we do an update if there's further news today obviously every day guys if you don't hear from me there's nothing really newsworthy except the lot of shad happening everywhere and i know yesterday was scottborough like i said uh pumula there wasn't really um sandwich port banana beach down uh, the block port shepston and then further down south a lot of nice fish being caught so the fish is excited they know something's gonna happen and that started really happening two days ago and yesterday it amplified so you know they're the best kind of uh, triggers to watch and uh, there's the game fish and the other fish in the shad popping in so everything is happening like it should every year the timeline changes however and that's dependent on weather on our conditions on everything so yeah, um, I hope this weekend we can give you good news about netting if you're after the sardines or want some sardines or want to chase the game fish or the fish that runs with the sods. Um, and it can very well happen. We had a good bit of a southerly wind last night, but not enough to clean the sea up. There's still a lot of dirty water and that's why we can't see much morning. Nourish. Sorry guys, this is quite a bit of a glare on the phone so i can't always see all the the messages there's prem morning prem morning cameron uh there this there was one garrick oh oh i don't know if it was just one but port edward side so it's starting guys it's coming up i don't know if anyone's got news about winkle spray normally that's the first year in june even in may to start producing uh garrick i haven't heard anything but i know there's been some garrick now at Port Edward which is all good signs guys I think in the next week we're gonna see some really really good action all along the coast and it's gonna be very exciting so yeah send us if you if you want to send us send us info at asfn.co.za you can send us information um, if you've got anything happening or photos you want to share of catches or things happening in your areas just info at asfn 
www.co.za. Then, guys, I want to just take a special moment to thank uh, Jakita, Alpha and Omega, and then especially Dawa that's supporting the sardine run and these updates, helping us to do them and to do them properly and accurately for you guys. So, thanks again to, to Dawa and also Alpha Omega Chint, and that's now got branches in P as well as Kaiserin, the new branch in P. And then also Jakita, bait and tackle. Jakita.co.za, your online solution, which will also their new online stores launching very, very soon. Very excited about that. But guys, yeah, uh, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell notification button so that you can get these updates as soon as we send them out. And thank you for watching, thank you for your support. And uh, I hope the next time you see my face is with a whole bunch of extra good news. See you soon.